What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm out here with my friend CJ. What up Jay? What up bro? We're out here at this private pond that CJ actually has permission to fish. Um, we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. We're going to be fishing with uh, live bait instead of artificial. We have, uh, about, we have some brim about hand size, we have some shiners, and we have some shad that we're going to use on some corks. There's some, a lot of uh, lay downs and stick ups out here that we're just going to troll these live, you know, these, uh, this live bait around in search of a big bass. Um, we're going to be taking out this little pelican here. We did bring a John boat right over here, but somebody spilt their battery and acid got all in the middle of it. And now it ate through the metal and now it's kind of has a small leak in it. Thanks CJ. <laughs> but I'm not going to complain. We do have a pretty nice setup today. We got the two chairs here. That's something that we don't have in the John boat. So I am pretty uh, excited about this. It's going to be way more comfortable than staying into that John boat all day. And then we got the cooler right here in the middle. We have the aerator. Let me see if you can see some of these fish we have. We have quite a variety of fish in there. The water's pretty, uh, water's pretty dirty. But there's a shiner right there, as you can see. <clears throat> Man, I'm ready to do this. Yeah, we got the big corks. We have some big brim in here. Like I so said, hopefully we can catch. We're looking for a double digit. There was, I think, what was it? There was a 15 pounder caught out of this lake back in October of last year. So. <laughs> Who knows, man? It, uh, fishing these big brim, you just never know. Um, but we're gonna keep y'all. We're gonna keep y'all uh, posted, so y'all stay tuned. All right. Well, my first bobber fell off my line. I don't even know how that happened, but it broke, and now it's floating out there. So I had to tie on another bobber. And another. Uh, my, well, actually, my first shiner got hung up, so I got another one on now. But we're getting bit out here. I'm just not too sure what it is that's biting it. Could be a big, big crappie. Could be bass. That bass took your stuff under, bro. Really? When a 12 pounder takes us under there, we're done for. Oh, there's a fish. Uh, what was that? I don't know. You didn't let have it. Long no, my bobber was gone. I know. I had him in bass, bro. You got to give him one more. Dang, son. Like, hey, give them like three seconds. Well, it, it kind of kind of like surprised me there for a second. Yeah. You got to give them three seconds. Just make sure it's in their mouth and down there. Golly. Oh, it was barely in the water when that happened. Hit again. All right. Let, let him take it. Let him take it. My bobber just went under, guys, on the shiner. Right. Fish. Go. It's a nice fish. It's a bass. On the shiner. All right, guys, first fish. On the shiner. Now I see what's been taking my bait out there. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. Not as big as the one CJ hooked into, but it's a start. First fish down. Like I'm ready to see, not see that box, bro. Yep. You know that's gonna be a stud. That's gonna be the thumbnail. All right, keep an eye, cause. I got hit out here and where you're kind of where yours is. Hey, there's a lot of sticks down there. When I set the hook on him, he was in some sticks. I had to pull him out. Oh, that was a big one, guys. Something just got him big time. Got him. Big him. Big him. Well, not that big, but. Oh. Hey, he came up for it, dude. Did you see that? Guys, I don't know if the GoPro got that, but he just came up for that shiner. I saw the squirrel. I didn't get to see him come up for it. Yeah, he came up for it. I think the GoPro got it. My, my shiner's dead, son. Perfect hook set. That's a little better than the uh, first one we caught. Probably pound and a quarter, pound and a half. But this is so much hey, fun. All right, but this is so much fun. My shiner was actually right on top of the water and he just came up and smoked it. I hope the GoPro got that, but second fish. It's happening quick. I don't know. Be so damn big. If one yeah, if one gets on that brim, dude, it's gonna be a stud. Look how deep I'm fishing though. That's probably three feet right oh, there. Our shiners are dying. It'll be fine. We're alive. Alright, I got my bait out. Guys, this happening quick. Right here in the same spot, but he came up on it. Um Pretty aggressively on that last that last shiner. Let's see if we can do it again. CJ has a big uh, brim on that cork there. We're just gonna throw our shiners out here with these 
these bass seem to be schooling. They seem to be schooling under the water because it's not taking long at all for us to uh, get hit out here. CJ, all I gotta say, somebody's eventually gonna hook into a giant. I'm telling you. I don't think in the shallow water. I don't know. Did you not see how he came up for that? Like, oh my gosh! And you can like see the big bass come up and eat it. Oh, he just got hit. There he goes. Alright, give him a second. Give him a second. I got him. Oh! That's a good one. Yeah, it is. Alright, guys, fish number three. That's a better one. On the shiner. Ooh. Come on in here, baby. Oh, my bobber came off again. Your bobbers are cheap. <laughs> Ooh. But. <laughs> my bobber fell off, but. Whoops. Fish number three right there. Some nice fish, guys. Probably pushing the two pound mark. Got them on that shiner again. This is my third fish today. And they just get keep getting bigger by the number. So there you go. Stay tuned. Hopefully we'll run into a five or six pounder here in a little bit. Like I said, CJ does have a pretty big, pretty big brim on his uh one of the setups. Hopefully we'll end up catching a you know six, seven, eight pounder, maybe even a double digit on it. But uh y'all stay tuned. And I hope a big one smashes this, this uh, shiner. Oh, I just got hit big time. He's under. He's under. Let's get him. Oh yeah, it feels nice. Feels good. Feels like my biggest. Yes, it is a good one. Oh yes, sir. How big? Pretty good. Ain't a bad one. Yeah, that's a decent catch. Any catch, man, is a decent catch. Oh, come here. <laughs> come here. <laughs> I can't get him, CJ. There we go. Fish number four. That's a pretty one right there. Right there by that tunnel. Man, catching them on these shiners is something else. It's different, but I like it. Solid fish. Just gotta leave your bobber right there. Watch, just let it sit. You'll catch one, dude. Is my oh, there he is. <laughs> already oh dude this is better than the last one feels like another nice one oh yes sir oh pretty good come over here son oh that's a good one CJ Alright guys, fish number five. I think that's probably my biggest one of the day right there. Right in the top of the mouth on that shiner. We're still out here wearing them out, but we're still looking for that, that 10 pounder, you know? So y'all stick with us, but this is fun. At least we're out here catching fish. Let's get him back. Stop moving the boat. Oh, hit it's under. It's under. Got him. Oh, dude. Oh, that's the one, bro. Oh, my gosh. 
Here, here, here. It's already filming. Oh, dude. This is a nice one. <laughs> I feel my bobber going under, bro. <laughs> oh, look at that fish, CJ. Spit my shiner. Dude, here. Uh, he's barely hooked, it looks like. Come on now. Yes, sir. That's a good one there. That's one that we're, that we're looking for. Yes, baby. On the shiner, number six. Like I said, size is coming as the numbers grow, but that's a good one. CJ just missed one over there. Hopefully he can uh, hook up on that one. Hopefully I can catch my first one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I said, we still out here having a good time, but dang, that was awesome. All right, see that release. <laughs> okay. Heck yeah, baby. That was so cool. All right, guys, we have officially figured these fish out. We have them. We have a feeding frenzy going on over here. We've been casting up in here for the past hour, hour and a half, and we're catching the majority of our fish here today. Um, what's going on is, is there's actually a fish feeder on top of this pier right here. So all the brim and all the bait fish are stacked right in front of this tunnel, and these bass are in the tunnel, and they're coming out and eating these bait fish. So when we throw our live bait in there, the bass just hit them almost instantly. Um, but yeah, we're still having a great time. Still haven't caught that big one we're looking for, but man, this is so much fun. Y'all stay tuned. Let me turn the boat back to the right, dude. Okay. Oh, I just got slammed on the brim. Yeah. On the brim. Got him. Oh, nice one. On that brim. I feel like if we use big baits here, it won't take long for it. Like a big brim here, it won't take long for a big bass to get it. I know there's a big bass in this tunnel. Or near this tunnel. All right, guys. There's another solid fish. I was actually on a brim that time. Oh, I got him good. Those live bait hooks don't play, but solid one and a half pounder. All right, guys. I got another brim tied on. Let's see if uh, we can get another bass on it. He was kind of farther out, CJ. He was like out here. Oh, you're, you're good. You got one. Get him. Let me roll up. Got him? Oh, big. Giant? How big? Big one. Probably big. This is a big one. Yeah, it is. There you go. That's a nice one there, dude. Get him up. Here, turn that boat to the right a little bit. You want me to get him for you? Here, here. Right. <laughs> That's a nice one there. Here. Show off to the camera. All right, boys. Like I said, they get bigger. That's a nice right. one there, man. All right, guys. We have used up just about all of our shiners. We caught a pretty good bit of fish on them. I am now switching up to, I've switched up to this big brim, probably about, say, five or six inches long. Pretty good sized brim. Um, we're still in search for that big fish. And hopefully, either my brim or CJ's brim will uh, <clears throat> catch it for us. So, we're just going to throw it out, let it sit, and if that doesn't work, we'll troll with them. But, hopefully this will work out. Fish? Yeah. How big? Oh my gosh! Holy crap, dude! Holy crap! <laughs> All right, guys. CJ just called a monster. Um, the reason that last clip ended kind of early is because my camera overheated. But check this fish out, guys. It's probably five, five and a half pounds. Called it on a giant brim. That's one of the ones we're looking for right there. We finally got it done. Show it off, CJ. Heck yeah, son. Man, it's a great day of fishing when you can catch one like that. Good job, man. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. We had a fantastic day. We probably caught close to 10 to 12 fish, a couple of them being almost five pounds. 
my boy CJ right here, caught both of the Giants. I did catch a lot of uh, quality today, also caught a lot of numbers. So it's always fun coming out here, just being able to catch fish in general, but also with the live bait we were using today. Like I said, once your bobber goes under, you have no idea what's on the end of your line. So it's always a mystery when you come out here and fish with stuff like that. But like I said, go check out his channel. It's NAB Outdoors, N-A-B Outdoors. Um, like I said, some of this video is going to be put into his channel as well. Whatever I don't include is going to be over there at his channel, so y'all can go check it out. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. But thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.